In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use a really horrible, very simple webcam um, input program to control a drum machine using Weconator. Um, this is the simple webcam example. I've got a 10 by 10 grid here. I've just downsampled the um, image coming into my webcam. And so I'm going to tell Weconator to listen for 100 inputs. And for sound, I've got a little drum machine uh, written in Chuck and I'm just going to control one drum sound and I'm going to control it using a classifier. So I'll tell it um, which of four sets of drums to play. So once I put a 100, 1, and 4 here and I've chosen classifiers here, I'm ready to go and I can give it some examples. So now I'm going to start by telling Weconator that when I am here, you can kind of see me, um, down here. When I'm sitting in front of the webcam, I want to play sound one. So there's a few examples. And now when I move away, I want it to play sound two. So now you hear, see here I've got 30 examples recorded. I'm going to train my classifier and now I'm going to run it. And as I move, you see that it changes from one to two. And if I unmute my computer, you'll hear that as a change in the sound. So it's not perfect, um, it's getting having some mistakes around here, so I can give it some more examples. And I'm going to start recording and just show it a little bit of variation in my movement in front of the camera. Retrain it and rerun it. And there we go, that's pretty good. Um, I can give it another class, I can say this is my hand in front of the camera record some examples, retrain, this just adds those examples to my existing training data, and now if I run it, it sort of works. It's not super robust, and again, I can add some more examples. Let me do that. Retrain it again and rerun it. And I'm pretty happy with that. Um, if I wanted to save this project, I could save my project somewhere on my computer, give it a name, drum machine, controller one, and I could reload it later. Everything's going to be trained and ready for me to use.